Hi guys, this is my very first uh, let's play and I'm gonna check out Europa Universalis uh, for demo. Now I have already played the tutorial and I have noticed that they vastly improved the, the tutorial from the first game explaining a lot more features of the game. Uh, the tutorial is divided into three parts which you can check out yourself if you want to download the demo. Uh, but it covers the very basics, uh, then uh, some things like trading and different map modes and also how to colonize. Uh, the tutorial did crash on me though, so uh, it is a bit bugged and you might notice that some of the labels are not fully done. Now, yesterday I have played uh, through the tutorial, not from the tutorial, I mean through I played the, a single player as Portugal and the demo allows you to play for 30 years or almost 30 years until uh, 1520. Now today I'm gonna check out the Ottomans and I have pretty good idea how to play it as during the demo of the tutorial I have checked out most of the game mechanics to make sure I know all the changes from EU3. Now let's have a look. Uh, let's disable the hints and have a look at our current state. So we need an advisor, and since our stability cost uh, is stability is at zero, we should probably reduce the stability cost, which will also benefit us with uh, a two administrative power points per month so yeah let's get him even though he's kind of expensive to maintain he'll pay off and I'll be able to swap him out later on so next thing is I probably let's see how much income I got left 3.8 uh, a month so I can probably just get him for the points and for the last advisor yeah let's just get to this guy for the points as well and maybe we'll get around to doing some technology so we're currently at war with Moldavia so first thing I'll do is oh uh, let's assign him a leader Actually, let's change it. Leader, this guy has... Nah, that's will be good enough. So we got in a leader with free fire, two shock and two movement power. Now we got this guy here, so let's give him... This leader with four maneuver, so we can actually... Get him to here, because I expect some wars will break out around here and move this guy around actually it would be quicker to move this guy here give him this leader and get this guy to come here in case some walls break out now let's have a look at our navy we got 15 light ships, so uh, let's have a look at the trade map mode. Let's E. That's 138. We also believe have some power in here. Yes, we do, but that's 45, so it's not worth really making that stronger. And as on this one, we don't have a monopoly yet on trading power. Let's send our ships to monopolize now I got to keep in mind to keep these videos to 15 minutes long due to my YouTube limitations okay so we're gonna protect trade and this is our home port where we collect so let's send this here and let's grab the other ships
and let's send them around here in case I need them. Now what else I should be doing? Oh yeah, I need to save up enough points in administrative power to increase my stability, which is really necessary as you can see currently I got a lot of revolts around the corner. Uh, let's have a look. Can we activate anything useful? Now this would be very nice. It will increase our income, but we're saving up administrative power to reduce our revolt risk. So I'm gonna leave this away for a minute. And let's see. This will increase our revolt risk. So we're already pretty bad. Okay, so we we got three missions to choose from. Uh, let's go back to our nation. So that's re reconquer this. Let's have a look. I don't have any allies, so... We should probably declare war before we make any alliances. That way things should probably go a lot smoother, unless we have some better missions. Increase opinion with uh, Razaman. Now, who are they? That's a good question. Ah, so it's sort of a clashing options. One is take them over, others improve their opinions. And let's see, uh, religious unity. Now, because of our current state of religion, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Now, I would try to start converting lands, but it would increase our rebellion risks. And it's 13 at uh, 6%. If, without increasing our stability, if we increased it, it would be about 10% or 12. So, let's wait until we get one stability. And then we can uh, try converting. Now, our income is still pretty manageable. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I believe we can drop a bit of our ship maintenance cost. If I can remember where that is. Yeah. Fleet maintenance. To say about 1.5 morale, just in case we do end up doing any ship battles. Uh, we got some claims, no mission selected, dispute to succession. Uh, it's not really my playstyle to use a succession thing, so I'm just gonna cancel that. National decisions, let's get rid of that. Truce, we don't really care, and revolts we already know about. So let's unpause the game and increase the speed. Our income should have increased, yes, due to a trade power increasing. Now these guys I hope... Okay, we made a military alliance. I guess I'll just take them down. Uh, let's pause. So here, uh, all right. I'm on different map mode. We defeated the army, so we're sieging. This might take a while. As you can see in the new game, they actually improved the siege. So now you can actually see a chance of converting, and it says like at the bottom, surrender. There's zero percent chance, so we actually need to do some phases. So this is a phase. Go zero to twelve, and the further you are. In a further phase, the higher percent chance you have a deal surrender. But as we don't have any artillery, so this will be a long siege. Might last a year or so. Uh, let's grab this ship, take him here. Uh, where's my army? It's almost here, so we can declare war on these guys. You know, they made an alliance earlier than expected, but... So... Let's activate the mission first, actually. 
So yeah, we're gonna do this. Declare war. Reconquest. And start the war. And these guys are joining in, but they'll be all slaughtered by this single guy. I try to fight my navy. How silly. Okay, I suffered some casualties and I probably lost fight. You can see it's nicely tells you how much it will cost you per month to recover. Now we got an event. Uh, so I can actually mention a bit about religion. Now since we are playing uh, a Sunni, they have propriety free. Or P.I.T. I think. Sorry, I misread that. Uh, and since we got a lot of um, orthodox land, we need to convert them. And having a negative uh, will not actually help us. But if we increase our to a positive we get missionary strength up to plus 3, so we want the 25 plus. And prestige will be nice. So now we're gonna assault. We should be pretty single-sided. Uh, they got destroyed. Uh, let's uh, detach a siege and go take out these guys. They don't have any more units, so that's fine. And I'm not at war with anyone else, am I? Oh, we're at war with Rosman. Uh, oh, yeah, we are at war with three guys. So we're at war with them, them, and them got slightly confused. Uh, okay, so these guys entered military alliance, but they haven't joined the war yet. So I'm just gonna detach a siege here and put these guys here near our ships in case we have to swim and fight these guys. Uh, now, how many points do we need to increase our stability? 121. Uh, that should pick up in about 3-4 months. Oh dear, we got rebels. Oh well, we'll just have to slaughter them. Uh, let's see, no one else joined the war, so that's good. Rebels crushed. And we have enough stability. Now normally I try saving some points in case some events happen where I need them. But for stability, I would increase it straight away as it's a lot more beneficial. Now this is a high tax base zone, so I'm actually gonna send a missionary to convert it. Okay, my time is running out for this part, so let's see you in part two.